welcome to another session of All Tackled Up TV guys. Um, today I'm here at the Sandwich Lake um, at Elphix in Kent. Um, its primary stock is um, skimmers, bream, um, roach rudd, perch over five pound um, and then we have got some carp in there as well. Um, I'm going to basically give it a go for the bream, skimmers and silverfish. I'm going to be fishing pellet, um, corn and maggot and dead maggot. Um, and then might obviously have a go a bit further out feed a line for the carp and just see if we can have a few obviously of the uh, bigger residents in the place so um, today obviously going to be testing um, some mainline product um, that I've picked up recently in the shop um, been hearing loads about it um, people like Adam Rooney, Steve Ringer um, lots of other anglers down in the south as well a lot of people raving about the stuff so um, great for me is it contains uh, an additive called cell um, cell is something that I've used in bream fishing and for my carp fishing for ages used to use the bigger big bottle versions of this, the cell PBA sticky liquid. Um, used to mix that in with my two meals and it's just got such a sweet, lovely aroma. It, it's the sort of stuff you want to eat yourself to be fair. Um, so obviously I'm going to soak my two meals in this first um, just to give them a real added boost. Um, and then the, the mixes I'm going to use today is the super fine pole mix um, and basically with that I'm going to be adding the two meal, the two meal cell carp pellets over the top. So so we're going to have a mix. Con so Probably about 30%, 40% two mil pellet, and the rest is going to be primarily the ground bait. Um, going to be feeding that, obviously, this ball, ball, putting some balls in, feeding over the top of it, and topping up as obviously if we start getting problems with small fish or the bites die away. Um, also, I'm going to be using some six mils pellets as well in a band, um, just if I really do get pestered with little small roach um, and, and little little fine blades, um, what we call small skimmers. Um, really start to struggle. Um, good old maggot, um, corn, and obviously the old faithful four and six mil expanders from ringers in there. So um, hopefully we have a good day, guys. Um, I'll go through the rigs and bits and pieces, and then um, we'll see, see if we can catch a few and obviously get some um, in in game footage, as they say. Thanks for watching again, guys. Cheers. Right, so I've, I've put about four balls of ground bait in laced with obviously the micros and the corn I've had about probably 15 small skimmers um, so let's keep going as you can see I'm fishing fairly short um, three sections in my top two so not not too far out at all I'm gonna have a little go longer later on just to see if anything's holding back off the baited area indication straight away good sign using the genuine aqua um, elastic today um, it's designed for silvers and f1s and I must say it's been a really really good elastic for me this year catching like small silvers up to decent bream and f1 so here we go fish on bigger than this but as I say they're still good quality weight building fish so let's get this one back and have another one. I'm alternating between a four and a six mil ringers um, pellet at the moment so the six mil seems to get the bigger fish at the moment there's not the quantity of them so I'm all still alternating between the two baits That again. Float settling nicely. Got most of the Bristol showing today just because we've got a bit of a breeze on the water at times. We've got a slightly longer line just to cope with that, just to stop the float moving about. And here we go, we're into a fish. Oh, bumped him. I feel like a better fish as well. Got a few 
might put a little tiny little nut and put a little tiny little nuggets of ground bait in my in my in my toss pot um, just to keep topping it up every now and again. Skimmer. Fishing round about six metres out, maybe, maybe between six and seven metres today. So as you can see, there's, there's, a, there's plenty of like small, decent weight building silvers at that range. This that one. Indications again. Floats going down, floats under, fish on. So if you're doing the tiniest little strike, you don't have to be Zorro. A little bit of strike, but generally the hook is set already because they've mouthed it. So, another nice skimmer. Using the Guru SLWGs today, and again, as you saw there, the hooks come out nice and easily but they do really hold really, really well. Um, bait goes on really easily. They stay really sharp as well. I've been using them a lot for F1s this year. Um, had some really good, good bags on those, um, which you'll see if you see my shallow fishing video on YouTube. So it's been a really good hook for me this year. I'm gonna feed a few little grains of corn by hand as well over the top just to see if anything, obviously, if them bigger bream are there, to give them something a bit more, more adequate to munch on. Indications again. Nice little, it's usually a, a little dip and then the float goes under. Missed that one. Indication again, the little dig. Just so you know they're there. And fish on. Oh, no, bumped him again. Don't worry, if you do bump him, it is, it is common um, that you do do this, especially with skimmers. As I say, the mouths are really light, and if you've just 
lifting a little bit too early, you might not have them wholly in the mouth, and that's what obviously you end up losing the fish. So, but don't get disheartened by it. it just, just keep learning when it's best to hit the bite. some sort of water pump for the summer or something like that or a drain possibly for the lake um, so it's a natural feature it's a, a lump of concrete sitting in the water so it's something for them fish to feel safe up against so never discount areas like this but at the moment the open water swim seems to be producing fish on so, semi aqua elastic comes out nice holding the fish Finally a better sized fish, which is the ones what we want to get. Proper skimmers as I call them. There you go, proper skim bob. Happy days. bit of feeding this time again in the pot so literally it's just tiny the small little ball just like a little nugget about that sort of size maybe smaller in the pot squeeze it in the pot dip out to where you're fishing lower the rigging Nice and gently over the top of the float. Give it a little tap to get it to come out. We're ready to fish. Fish on. So just because they're small, you don't have to rush them, remember. Especially in the winter, every fish counts. Smaller one this time. Again, fish on again straight away. 
that elastic do its work. It's really good gear, this drilling extra stuff. Really, really good. Perfect for this type of fishing. easy to do once you get used to it at this range. Swing him in. There you go, little bubba. A little look over on that other line just to see if anything's there. It's always good just to have a little look every now and again. yet but we'll just stay there for a bit longer Like that's for sure guys. I've made today with the main line ground bait as you can see really nice mix real fine particles the ground bait and you've got the little micros in there amongst in there and then obviously some corn so that's been the uh, go-to bait these are my um, expanders I've been using today so you can see the uh, lovely quality expanders in there let's see if we can catch a few more and then we'll do a bit of rig talk. Gonna have a little look now to see if there's anything slightly out there a bit further out. Not a lot, it's one section further, just sometimes that's where the bigger fish can hold back. Feeding a little bit of corn over that other line. indications on this line and we've got a fish on straight away. I'm 
Vous voulez tout ce qui va Grab him out the net. Spat the hook. Let's have another little look. Bloke's just starting to settle. Little indications, so there's, there's lots of fish all the way around. It just goes to show you they don't congregate hard and fast on one little area. They're moving about and, I mean, you're probably talking a, a six foot by eight foot area these fish are in, fish on. really is good this gen and aqua it's just so soft on the strike cushions this, these these small skimmers really done the job today Let's see if we can get him up there he is in the net in the net baiting this time just like I said tiny little nuggets that sort of size in your pot pop them in Shame so far, we haven't any of the bigger stamp of bream so far, but still good to catch these little small skimmers and weight build. There are lots of matches that you will need to do this when you're not in favour of pegs or the winter, etc. At the end of the day, it's all about putting fish in the net. Here we go, oh, bumped him. indication so that ball of feed now is just opened up on the bottom so any fish that have come in or come back in should now be ho hoovering it up and we're into a fish so when it's not going or it's they've gone quiet always just, just try a little top up ball a little nugget don't need nothing too big for these fish if we were catching the bigger bream then I would definitely be cupping in bigger balls
I'm going to feed a nugget every couple of put-ins now, just to keep them fish there, keep them re re-interested. Get the pellet on, try the four mil as well, just in case it's that six mil that's putting them off. It's always good to chop and change the size of your pellets. Bring your marker on your marker, put your bait in, a little tap, actually pops right on the right on the number. Indications back. This is what it's all about: pole fishing, trying to work out what, what's what's going on under the water. And clearly, those fish wanted wanted a little bit extra to feel comfortable on as a fish on. Definitely christened my new guru box today and my new side tray from Fab Trays because they're nice and covered in lovely bream slime. every now and again just try and try to be careful though we don't want to be feeding other parts of your swim by mistake get into position little nugget in she goes up the rig Put him in the water, rigging the water over the top of your feed. And let's see if we get another one. Definitely wanted to feed the indications of back straight away. And these are the little things that just sometimes, obviously, if you're new to it, you're wondering what's going on, you might be frightened to put a bit more feed in. It's all about trial and error, and once you get to understand these things, myself, I'm still learning bits and pieces like this all the time. Got a fish on the bait now. lift and drop sometimes I do it just an inch or so straight away indication after that indication again Just 
reset the rig. indication fish on No signs there at the moment. Go back out. Twitch. Indications again, floats under. Got a skimmer. Try a bigger pellet again. Floats just settled straight away an indication. As soon as that bait's hit the deck. We've got an indication. Which, that little 
movement sometimes can be enough for them to just to nail that, that pellet. There we go. Fish on. I think it's a small little roach this time. Oh, it's a little skim up. Again, little dinks on the float. Just telling you this fish there. Just be patient. Fish on. Little, another little nugget gone in. Little dinks on the float straight away again. You know, when it's a proper bike, it will just literally give it boom, straight under the surface. Like I say, just be patient. If you've not done this sort of fishing before. Fish on. See by just a few minutes you've been watching, you, you can amass a weight of these quite easily.
всем. О, скамо. Fight straight away again. Be sure. Like I said earlier, nice and steady. getting a few grains of corn there in the pot again. Drop your little ball in, in with your float, in with the rig. Little bite straight away. Go fish on. Try a grain of corn this time, just to see if a change bait might get us a little bigger bite. bite on the corn. Corn is was when you're catching small skimmers. It's obviously a much, it's a bigger and harder bait than your, than your soft expander pellet. So they might not, be able, they can't always get it in as quick as they can as an expander. But they will still take corn. Believe you and me. Got a 
fish on. The skimmer, like I said, it may take a little bit longer, but it will take a grain of corn, even the small ones. I'm going to try a little double red maggot in a minute as well just to see if that might bring something different. You, you never know. Put a ball in over the top. See if we can get a bit of a go. Here we go, fish on. The lively little one. Okay guys, well this is the rig I've used today. It's a Preston Innovation Silver 4x16 float, a carbon stem, really thin neon nylon bristle at the top, really, really sensitive, um, great for reading bites. And I do dot these right down, so literally I've probably got a quarter of this bristle showing. Um, if it's towing a little bit, then obviously I'll show a lot more bristle, um, which I have done today. I've had most of the bristle showing. Um, it's a 4x16 um, that I've used. May seem heavy. Um, I just favour a bit of a heavier float when I'm fishing for skimmers, just so I can get my shotting pattern right, get the bait down, and then the droppers just to fl flow through that last little quarter of the rig. Um, my shotting pattern today, most of it has all been in a lot, in a, about three quarters down the actual rig itself, and then at the last quarter of the rig is where I've had my dropper spaced out and my four inch hook length. Um, so I'll just show you that here. So then hopefully you can see that. That's my group of bulking of my bulk shot. Um, these are made up of number eight micro shot by Guru. Really, really like these at the moment. Stay on the, on the line really well. Don't crush it up um, and really, really good. So following down from there, I've got my droppers down there, so about six inches apart these are. And you'll see it's two number 10 Guru shot bulk together. And then again, about six inches away, it's another two number 10 Guru shot top of the hook length loop. Reason I like this, some people might be thinking, why is he doing that? Well, I like to be able to then, I've got, I've been able to change the way my bait falls by moving these number 10s up and uh, spreading them out across. So instead of two droppers, I've got four to really slow the control of, of that float, of, of obviously of that bait falling through that last, obviously, foot and a half of water, maybe a little bit more, depending on how I've spaced my rig out. Um, let's say on the hook length front, as you can see here, I'll just show you. It's an LWG hook. There you go, I'll just show you that. With a small bait band, uh, and I really, really favor these at the moment. Also, I will have exactly the same rig set up with a normal LWG, just for fishing my expander pellet, and also, and I use the F1 maggot as well. So I've got about, probably about six rigs set up in total, total, all consist of the same floats, just really different hook lengths. You could just change the hook lengths yourself as you go along, but it just for me, it's quickness, just better pick up another rig and off you go. So let's go back now and, and see what I caught on the day. Thanks for watching, guys.
Okay, let's have a little look over by the concrete wall. Concrete again. Couple of little indications. I did have a road carp out of here earlier on, uh, in between filming, a few little bits. Got a bite. Pick him up. shows that the benefit of feeding another line so if that other line out in front of me did die off you've still got another line Feed a few expanders over the top as well this time. There's a change. Your indications again straight away. Got a bite, fish on. Another skimmer by the feel of it. Yep. So, been a well fixed sandwich late today using the main lines, um, new products, the ground bait, the pole, super fine pole mix and two mil pellets today with a bit of corn. Um, I've had well over, this is, part of, this is just part of what I've had today. I mean, there's, there's over 50 fish in there now um, with skimmers, so does it work? Damn right it does. So, well pleased with that net. Absolutely stonking, absolutely stonking day.